actually, I started with these silver-handled brushes with white uh, uh, nylon uh, filament that were made in India, of all places. And I used them for a long time, and they were incredibly cheap. Being uh, from migrant background, you know, if, if you can get it cheaper, it's good. So I found these brushes, and they were just brilliant. But all of a sudden, they didn't bring them anymore in this art shop. I guess they were out selling Winsor Newton, whatever. So a couple of years, I tried this, I tried that. And then I saw what I thought were the same brushes. They were silver handle and white filament, but they were scudders. I knew nothing about them. I just looked at them. Yes, cheap, cheap enough. Bought them, loved them from the start and used them for at least 10 years before I came here without any knowledge that they were made in Spain. I don't think I ever read the label or anything. I just used them because I loved them. They're just so good. They're so pointy. They are balanced. They last. They're just magic. A delightful family. So my view is now clouded by that as well. But if I just stick to the product, it's superbly made, it is well priced, the points on those brushes cannot be beaten. They just cannot be beaten. They're perfect. Ricard, who's the uncle, um, who's uh, almost fanatical about the place, and the machinery is polished aluminium and everything is clean. It's just, you could eat off the floor in a factory. I mean, it is unbelievable. And, and he's proud of everything he touches, and you can see it. And I think, to me, that now I can see it in the brushes. I, I probably couldn't before. They were just brushes that were nice and pointy. But now I see the depth that they take. And they have one process that they described uh, which is like, uh, not that I do it, uh, um, hair curling that ladies do, that they heat up their hair to retain the curls. Well, they do the same with the brushes. They put them in a heater overnight. I mean, they put them in this heater, so the brushes are heated up in the sh perfect shape, so they retain a memory of being in a... So when you wet them, they go back into the point where the... the some of the other brushes, they put soap or rubbish in to make them look beautiful. You wet them and they just go, because there's no memory. It's just hair, you know. So that's uh, one of the secrets of their process. Uh, the way they're made is the brush is pointy. The mould underneath is also pointy, just as the brush. So all the hairs are pushed up into a point and then cut off at the bottom, where a lot of the other people cut the brushes into the point, which is meaningless because it's... The they don't water. retain the water, they're just no good. 